Okay guys, I'm in the house right now, as you guys can tell. I'm going to do a walkthrough with the house and show you what's kind of been done and what I'm gonna to do today. So let me show you what we're about to get started and what has been done. At the front door, the dining room. I actually just ordered a light for that, which I'm super excited about. Um, I'm still deciding on what I want for there. These hallway lights that, well, only one's working. I actually ordered super cute lights for that as well. We'll go through here. The bathroom, still deciding on what I want to do here, but definitely rip it out. And this drives me nuts, this door with the toilet. Oof. I actually ordered a light for this bedroom, which is super cute as well. This room, still deciding on what I want. Um, ah, scary, the door just slammed. <laughs> what door just slammed? Oh my God, a door just slammed in the house. Now it makes me feel like it's haunted, great. What door was that? Is it this one? Okay, whew, the wind closes it, cool. All right, now I'm not that freaked out. Cause I'm here alone guys, so <laughs> my face. I actually started painting in here and my phone wasn't recording. I started painting this all white, a fresh coat of paint. I'm gonna finish it here today. You guys can literally tell the difference. Look, the white compared to that. It looks so much cleaner. It's only around the window trim I've done and the trim around the door, but I'm going to start with that. I love this little sunroom. Um, I'm still deciding on what I want for lights up here because I'm really picky with lighting. It makes a huge change in your house. And then this little office, I'm still deciding what I want to do with it. I want to take this door out or keep it closed. But for the most part, let's get started on this room and finishing up the white. Because you know what? I got to paint a ceiling and that's going to suck. Oof. Great. And not to mention, it is so cold here right now. So I don't want to ruin this jacket. I'm going to switch jackets in the car and my painting clothes to get it all started. But it should be fun. I'm actually super excited about ordering the lighting though. That's my favorite part about purchasing a house and renovating it, the lighting, the flooring. I have a worker meeting with me Tuesday to decide on, um, we're gonna do one room at a time is what I figured. But look, I picked up this color for the laundry room. I think it's a very cute blue. I'm super excited about that. I gotta grab my stuff and change my jacket. So let me do that. All right, I just literally spent like 20 minutes looking for like a paint stirrer. So, and I didn't close the door. I'm sure it's gonna slam and freak me out again. Cause I was out there, and when I heard the door slam, I jumped. I'm like, ah! So, I'm here solo doing this. But my best friend comes into town tonight, and she's gonna help me paint and do all this fun stuff. But I figured, why not get it started now? guys you guys can tell that i have like the camera set up here i'm just attacking this section so i'll paint this whole section out and i do sections at a time so i'll do this whole section then this whole section and like i just said i already painted the bottom of this trim and the top so i'm going to redo it on every single side so you can tell the difference of the yellow Ugh. i need the second coat and then i'm going to do this ceiling which is going to suck but this is what i'm doing for today painting this whole room white and it's gonna look so clean This is the reason why I'm painting before really flooring down because I get a little messy at times. But I will tell you, you see that? That was not for me, which makes me feel like the last person that painted this house. Like that was not for me because I didn't paint over there yet. So someone came over here and like, was just a sloppy ass painter. But I'm gonna do my best and show up a look how 
Different looks look so much cleaner already. Ooh, I can't wait. Second layer of cleaner. You guys never want to paint over dirt, that's for danger. Just right? Just your lips. Ew. <laughs> Hey guys, I scrubbed the top as clean as it's gonna get. So I started painting it, but look at the difference. Can you imagine how clean this is gonna look compared to ugh. Ugh. I'm sure you're probably all wondering why I'm using such a small roller and a paintbrush because look, if I was to use a big one, look how big my hand is. I could not get in all the nicks and crannies. So I'm gonna do one layer with, obviously with the smaller roller on the smaller like little cracks to make sure I get everything. And then when I get to the center, I'll use a bigger roller, but I'll do one layer of the ceiling white and then I'll do caulking. I'm gonna caulk through all these little cracks and then I'll go ahead and paint it again. I'll take all these lightings down, the light fixtures and the fans. I actually can do that, which is pretty convenient, but I don't know how to do electrical just yet. I'm sure I could figure it out if I needed to, but I'm too scared to. But look how different it already looks. Like, come on guys. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to this stuff, so I will probably paint. I still have to do a second coat on that, but this is all first and second coat, and then it's been caulked, and then I have to recalk all these windows, clean them up, but guys, it's a work in progress, and it's a lot of work, but it's gonna look amazing. Literally, it doesn't seem like much, but this is all my second coats done here. There's no drip marks. This has to have the second coat still. I'm still working on that. This is, has a second coat on it as well. And yeah, my window feels coming in pretty good. Just still have the rest of this to do. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and tack this wall. I already did a first coat on it, as you guys can tell. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat and then finish this corner. And then I'll probably just do that top over there to do a second coat. And then pretty much these two walls will be done. Then I'll have to do a second coat over here and then that will all be done. So then like pretty much all the window seals will be done today. All right guys, this is like the final product. I still have to like paint that again, second coat on that side, but I can tell. And then I have second coat on this trim, on that. But, whoops, thank God it wasn't paint. I am pretty much done with this window seal, that second coat, I still have to do a second coat there. And the ceiling, well, I'm exhausted. I've been here for like five hours painting and other work. So tomorrow I'll pick it up where I left off. But for the most part, we're kind of getting done here. But check it out, what a difference. Come on, guys. All right, guys, I'm covered in paint. I just went to Jackie's here. I was like, Jackie, why don't you just film me? And I can show you guys a tour of the house, walking in. Come on in, Chris. <laughs> so you guys have been asking a lot, why am I doing all the work by myself? Why? Because I have time, and I want to, and I know, um, yeah. It's just gonna be fun and rewarding, so I'll show you guys a tour of what we're doing. 
and when it's kind of been done, we've ripped up all the flooring in the house. That's the fan. We've ripped up all the flooring in the house so far. We're literally on to painting. And what I'm gonna do is just individually take on one room at a time. So this is probably gonna be my first bedroom. It's a big guest bedroom. And then, and here's another guest bedroom as well. Um, pretty much the same thing. I'm gonna make it like a very warm, welcoming feeling. Reminds me of my mom. Uh, bedrooms, and then this is gonna be my master bedroom. Uh, you guys, I'm telling you, I'm really good at renovating houses. My father, we grew up doing this. My father purchases his properties and flips it, and I've literally grew up like my whole life doing that. So, uh, if we come this way, so we're gonna attack this bedroom first, then that bedroom, then my bedroom. And I'm just literally taking my time, because I've said in the past, my house is still not sold yet, so. What I've been doing up here is we're gonna rip this one up. I actually love this white tile. It reminds me of my childhood. I don't know if people are like, rip it up, but I love it. So I'm not going to rush that. I don't know if I'm gonna stay in the concrete yet or I'm gonna do just a really cool like, Spanish tile. And then the bad cover. So pretty much we've been working and investing in our bad entertainment. Uh, I'm, this is a work in progress room, but I'm attacking this room first and then slowly making my way into the other rooms. But yeah, I'm excited about it and I'm excited to show you guys. The journey that it's going to take because it's crazy. The befores and afters and documenting this is going to be so much fun and the changes as well. So stay tuned for it. So today was my day off from the farm. That's the reason I was working in the house. And now I'm going to go home and relax and then start it up tomorrow. So you guys are going to have a lot of improvements you'll see over the weekend. And a lot of videos out there for you guys to look forward to. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, you know the drill. I'm too tired and covered in paint to tell you all it. So stay tuned for the next video.